Good morning! So I'm showing you guys our morning routine and now that I've started it, I'm thinking why did I do this on a Monday morning? But we're doing it. So I'm going to show you our morning routine with um, a working mama and working daddy and a and three kids trying to get out the door to get to school and everyone off to where they need to be. Um, but really it starts in it starts the day, the night before, so I'll show you what I did last night before we all went to bed. And here we go. I think we're Hi, good morning. So I've learned a lot of things after having, you know, ha having three kids and trying to get them out the door. I've tried a lot of things. I've, you know, I've had a lot of um, successes and I've had a lot of failures about how I try to get them out, trying to get them out of the door um, in the morning. But I have learned that if I want to get them out on time, <laughs> getting out the door is one thing. So if I want to get them out on time, I need to start the night before. So here are four things that you can do the night before that will help you in the morning to get out the door faster. Okay, so number one, pack lunches the night before. And not just pack lunches, like don't don't just pack the lunches and have the bits and pieces, you know, in the refrigerator, in the pantry. Actually pack the lunch. So I like to put all of the things that can sit out and not be refrigerated, I like to put them already in the lunch box or the lunch pack or even, you know, whatever we're taking it in. Um, I like to put it in there and then so then in the morning all I have to do is reach my hand into, into the refrigerator and grab whatever um, cool thing needs to go in there. So the cool thing goes in and then I grab, grab a, grab a um, ice pack and then throw that in there too and that's good to go. And I don't just do it just for the kids. I do it for myself and okay. Number two, have backpacks ready to go. And that, and that doesn't mean have backpacks um, like ordered it means have them ready to go. So all homework is in there, everything is signed, everything is zipped up, but all they have to do in the morning is literally walk over to where their backpacks are stored, put it on, and go out the door. Um, I know that I've had, you know, it's, it's happened to everyone where, you, where the kid, you know, they realize, oh, oh no, I didn't get so-and-so signed before, for, and we need it tomorrow. So I make sure that I go through their whole book bag the night before, ask them if there's anything that needs to be um, signed or anything like that so that I, so that there's no, because at 6.45 in the morning, it's not a time that you want to be surprised. It's never going to end well for anybody. So I make sure that everything is packed and ready to go. Also, I like to put their shoes and their coats in, in like a central location so that when they put their backpack on, it's going to be logical then to um, <clears throat> put their shoes on and then put their grab their coat and then we're out the door. Tip number three, pick out all clothes the night before. There's tip number four. Put anything and everything that can be stored in the car overnight in the car overnight. I like to put my teaching bag in there. I like to have my teaching bag ready to go just because I don't, you know, in the morning, I don't want to have to have my lunch bag, have Brielle. She's a three-year-old. She's, you know, she can't carry a ton of stuff. So I, I, it's a lot of things to juggle. And if I have the teaching bag already in the car, then that's one less thing that I have to worry about. It's in there. It's waiting on me. I'm not one. I'm not. A, you know. I'm not sitting there saying, "Oh, what did I forget? Or what did I forget?" I had. You know, the night before, I went through and I made sure I had everything, and then I put it in the car, so it's there waiting for me. I hope that you enjoyed these tips, and I hope that you found even just one tip that might help you in the morning. I know that I've been there. I've you know, made the kids cry. I've made myself cry in the morning. That's happened oh, so many times. Um, so I hope that you found at least one tip that can help you in the morning. Bye. Okay, so normally when I wake up, it's um, 545, like I showed you guys. It's 545, and I normally toss and turn a little, get on Facebook, and check emails, that kind of stuff, probably a lot longer than what I should 
before getting up, but I'd, I'd give myself a little pep talk to, to get out of bed. Some days it's longer, some days it's shorter. Um, so um, that's what I do in the morning. And then um, after I, after I um, have given myself the pet talk, I can get out of bed and I move me into the bathroom. So let's go. So I finally made it into the bathroom. So when I finally get into the bathroom, I um, look at myself and see what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> If I'm going to have to do um, full makeup, not full makeup. Um, this week, I know with the work towards the end of the week, there's a play that we're, a field trip play that we're going to, and um, another like activity that um, the fifth graders are doing at my school. So I know that I'll want to do full makeup those days, so I probably won't do full makeup today. I'll probably just do concealer to cover up these bags. I don't know if you can see them very well. These bags are kind of crazy in the morning, on this Monday morning. But, so, um... first and then um, Brooklyn and Brielle. Brooklyn and Brielle are in one room uh, right now since we're in the in the rental. Um, so let's go. Oh, your humidifier is already turned off. Okay. Oh.
Good morning, Zia. Thank you. Oh, how cold is it be? It's gonna be cold. You need pants and a long sleeve shirt. Mm -hmm. This one has one sleeves and it has a little eyes on it. And it your favorite color. Okay, well let's get dressed. What, Brielle? Yeah, I'll take your pants out. Brooklyn is finally up. This, this is what nor normally happens to Brooklyn. She normally stands in front of her dresser. You already picked your clothes out last night, Brooklyn. <laughs> Okay, so, so once we're down here, everyone puts on their shoes and does that. And normally, since it's Christmas time, our elf, Charlie, we normally try to look to see what he did. And it looks like he, what did he do? He's got a pen and it looks like he drew a picture of everyone. It made the littlest kid be the elf and the boys wear skirts. Oh my goodness. And look, Brooklyn's got devil ears, and so do I. Oh my goodness. Yep, and Dave is wearing a skirt. It looks like he's got high heels, too. Mama. What do you guys think of that? No, I don't Mama. like it. I don't like it. Mama, I was eating my, me with my potty hat. What? I me with my potty hat. Yeah, you got a party hat on there? Yeah. And, and yeah. Bubba, bubba, and bubba, bubba. When's my birthday? Bria, you got cat whiskers, and then you got a party hat, and then you got a... Uh, cat whiskers? And then you got a big mouth. I don't like it. You don't uh, like it? No, I don't want to have a little mouth. Mouth. <laughs> no, I want a That elf, he's I tricky. I think it's cool because I have devil ears. All right, so we're heading to the car. Brielle, I'll grab your jacket. Go ahead, and get, go ahead and get in the car, Brielle. I'm going in the car. Yep, go ahead and get in the car. What's for lunch? It's um chicken parmesan, I think, okay. and noodles. Okay. Excuse our mess. This, this is where you can tell that we are in a rental and we we downsized before we got back into the to the new house. Whoops, ooh, Brielle almost hit you in the head. Also excuse our really dirty car. Alright, buckles on. Okay, so now we're gonna head out. We're gonna head to school. We're gonna drop off these crazy three. We normally drop off Brooklyn and Braxton first to their school and then we drop off Brielle to her school and then I go to my school. So that's our morning routine. Thanks for, you wanna go to your school first? Maybe we can go to your school first another day. Um, so thanks for watching our morning routine. That's it, it's a little crazy, it's a little hectic, but you know, it gets us out the door and um, I hope that it helps someone else. In the very least, I hope that it helps someone else know that um, you're not alone in the craziness of the morning. Hey, it's Monday morning and we even got out the door and it's only 7.03. We, I like to be out between like between 6.50 and 6 and 7 o'clock, but you know, sometimes it's closer to 6.50, sometimes it's closer to 7 o'clock. Sometimes it's a little after 7 o'clock. So anyway, so give us a big thumbs up if you liked our morning routine. And um, don't forget to subscribe. We're getting so close to 50 subscribers. So we're going to have that giveaway really soon. So I hope that um, so hope that you subscribe and join our chaotic family. Um, and we'll see you another day. Bye.